what do you know about a five-way? Or a four-way? Or a three-way? Because most everywhere in the world, those those terms mean something a little bit different than they do the people of Cincinnati. So today's video, I'm going to talk about Skyline Chili and the number five. The reason why number five is so significant is because I got a five-way from Skyline Chili. Now, most of you probably have never heard of Skyline Chili or even what Cincinnati-style chili is. Basically, it's, uh, it's weird. All right, people of Cincinnati freak out about it. I never even heard about it because I'm originally from Northeast Ohio, moved down here to Southwest Ohio, and I'm actually closer to Dayton than I am to Cincinnati, but it still counts. It's still within close enough proximity, and I know that the, uh, the entire chain is kind of spreading out, but for the most part, it's, it's localized here in Southwest Ohio. So I'm talking about Skyline Chili. This is the, oh, you can actually see through the yellow. I, it doesn't like yellow, apparently. My chroma key doesn't like yellow. But anyway, so Skyline Chili, and I can do this. Ready? Ready? And bam! Skyline Chili. And, and, bam! So what we're going to talk about is, is Skyline Chili. So as you can see up above this shoulder is, is the logo. So it originated because a dude from Greece, Nicholas Lamb... I, I'm all right. Look, you skylinechili.com. You can you can figure it out yourself. I'm still in this straight off their website. That's why I'm gonna have to read this. So he dreamed that one day he would be able to bring his Grecian recipes and traditions to America, where he would share them with family and friends. So in 1949, long freaking time ago, his dream came true when he opened his first restaurant overlooking the skyline of Cincinnati, Ohio, and began serving his delicious secret recipes to appreciative customers easy enough since then skyline chili's coney's ways and tableside service have been enjoyed by generations they call them ways because there's the three-way the four-way and the five-way which i'll explain here in a moment so our chili continues to be made from nicholas's original or is it nicholas nicholas nicholas's i don't know whatever original recipe using a secret blend of spices and only the highest quality ingredients Everyone claims that. Skyline is dedicated to bringing friends, family together, and experience like no other, and we will always be devoted to the American dream of that young man from a small village in Greece. So, that's what we're here about. All right, so because I'm local here to Southwest Ohio, I figured it was a pretty decent idea for a vlog. Now, what they serve, as you can see over this shoulder, is conies and ways. So the, the conies are, are hot dogs. Most people are pretty familiar with the term coney. It's basically just a, a bun, hot dog, chili, cheese. And then usually there's like mustard, you can put onions and stuff on it. Um, you know, beverages, you can, you can drink drinks. So th th there, there, go. this way. Ah, I'm not great at pointing on a green, a green screen, sorry. Uh, so this right here, this is a Waze. So th this is what's weird, all right? It's, it's spaghetti, chili, <laughs> cheese. This is called a three-way because there's three ingredients. A four-way would be you can add either beans or onions, and then a five-way is beans and onions. So if you go to a Cincinnati area or Dayton area or whatever area place, a skyline place, and order a five-way, you're gonna get this. I got a regular size instead of a super large size because I have to record three videos <laughs> today alone and then three more tomorrow. So I didn't want to get sick by eating uh, too much. So this this is the whole like this this is I guess technically it's already a three-way because in here is beans with the chili and the spaghetti. And then they also give you a little bag, that bag I held up and then threw to the floor. It's got cheese in it. Uh, there's normally two kinds of cheese that you can't... Man, it doesn't even like orange on here, too. So, the cheese, I think it's cheddar cheese of some sorts, or American cheese. I don't know, it's, it's orange cheese, and it, it's fine. There's also a habanero-style cheese that they have, but I didn't get it because, honestly, I frankly forgot to ask. Then you also get a little tiny one of those plastic thingamajiggies with uh, onions in it. I don't know, what are these called? Like sauce container, sauce cups, or whatever. And then they also have their own uh, oyster crackers. These oyster crackers are fantastic. Honestly, probably the best ones I've ever had in my life. They didn't even give me napkins. And I got a fork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these objects, put them together, and, and put them on a dinner plate instead of in that little plastic container. Because the plastic container likes to make a mess all over the place. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna, we're gonna chat a little bit talk about Cincinnati and it's chilly and I'm gonna eat. So I'll be back in a moment when this looks all pretty. All right, so it's all pretty, but unfortunately, uh, it's chroma keying out some of the orange of the cheese. So you can't, you can't really see it, but I promise I put it all on the plate. We got, we got some onions in there. So 
this this is weird. I'll be honest with you. Here you go. Here's a nice, nice, healthy bite. So I don't really know how to explain it or the eating process. Basically, there's like a cinnamony flavor. That's like the uh, the secret ingredient within the within the chili. The chili's got meat in it. Don't know what kind of meat. I just know it's got meat in it. There's beans. Uh, maybe kidney beans. I don't really know. But mm, mm, mm. there's something I had never had. Cause like I said, I'm from Northeast Ohio, so there was no reason for me to have something from all the way down here in Southwest Ohio. So the reason why I live down here, for those of you who don't know, I figure it's a good topic to talk about while we, uh, while we eat some Skyline, is I went to college down here. I went to a small college. It's a small private college. It's actually a small private Quaker college. I think it's the only one in the country. Something like that. I don't know. There's something about it being the only or... It's, Whatever. So I went to Wilmington College, small school, graduated from there, and uh, since my family lives in Northeast Ohio and I went to, to high school in Northeast Ohio, let me keep that up here on the camera for you. Sorry, I was letting that dip a little low. Uh, I didn't want to go back at all. Because who wants to do that? Who wants to be around the people that you went to high school with, especially because most of those people that don't move out of the city that you're born in or from or whatever, because I was actually born in Akron. Uh, you know, those are people you usually don't want to associate. Or if you do, it's like a close-knit group of friends. And that's cool. But to each their own. Nonetheless, I didn't want to go back mainly for the fact that I didn't want to be close enough to be a live-in babysitter for my family like I used to be. So, I graduated and I was tasked with the, uh, with the idea of finding employment in an apartment and doing everything by myself, hours away from any assistance. Because I... Yeah, at the time when I graduated, I was single, and I have no family around here. So I had to figure out how to get an apartment and how to get a job uh, really, really quickly. So I ended up applying to everything that I could. First place that called me uh, was a pain clinic, and uh, I had an interview, and they said, uh, the job's yours if you want it. They were the first people to reply, and actually I didn't have anyone else to reply for a couple of days after that, so I said, yep. I'll take it. Since that was the only opportunity that I was given, I figured, you know, it was the first thing I was going to do. So, that, excuse you, sorry, the heater, I think it's the, the AC unit, or the heating unit, whatever, for the apartment upstairs, it likes to kick over really loud, so, sorry that came through. Uh, but anyways, that's located in a town called Centerville, which, I'd say it's probably about 25 minutes-ish from Dayton. And then another maybe 45, 60 minutes out to Cincinnati. Which is where I tell you from. There we go. Uh, so I ended up finding an apartment really close. So I live actually still in the same apartment complex. But I'll get to that in a moment. So that's why I stayed down here. is because I didn't want to go back home. I wanted to stay independent and far enough away that I could drive to visit the family. But not be obligated to go spend every single weekend with them. Because for the majority of my life... When it comes to uh, recording YouTube videos outside of college, the weekend is like my butter zone when it comes to recording stuff. So, I'll end up doing a lot of batch recording on the weekends. Makes it a lot easier because I'll have like all day Sunday, especially when it's not football season. So I'll just spend all day recording and it's fantastic. So, yeah, I worked there for a while. I ended up transferring to another position down in Cincinnati itself. It was actually like Blue Ash. So Cincinnati's weird. The way they do it... Is basically they divide the city in like fifths and then each fifth of the city has like its own little name so there's uh <laughs> honestly i couldn't even tell you there's like otr which is over the river over the river <laughs> oh over the river or on the river yeah, i don't remember it's got a lot of businesses bars and a bunch of other stuff that's down there a lot of entertainment stuff is down there too um but i worked out in blue ash so that was great It wasn't great. I was lying. Uh, so that's why I worked. Worked in Blue Ash. And uh, moved apartments within the same apartment complex. So I was living in what they considered to be a studio. And a studio apartment is very, very small. But there really wasn't anything to make it a studio. Usually studios are you have a bathroom and then everything else is one giant room. There were actually rooms with it, but it was just small in space. So they, they had to call it a studio. So moved from there into a larger apartment with my best friend from college. Because her and I started dating after we had graduated. Well, actually, rather, after I had graduated. We came in in the same year, but I graduated a year early. So her and I started dating. And um, we lived together in a two-bedroom apartment and everything like that. And then uh, 
Stayed there for a while, and then I started working back in Wilmington, where I graduated college from. And that job is actually ending here soon, which is why I told you guys about being a life coach, because I'm trying to uh, work for myself and not have to work for somebody else. Oh, because uh, our relationship ended up falling apart romantically. We still are great friends, by the way. No knock on her. It just, you know, we, we decided to try it, and uh, dating just didn't work, and that's fine. So, if you're watching this... Shout out to you for still being a good person and being able to be friends with me again. So, <laughs> uh, so anyways, I decided the best course of action after we had split up would be to have us both move out on our own. And then we ended up actually both getting separate apartments here in the same apartment complex. So, I've been in the same area for the most part. Wilmington, from, from where I live currently, depending on what side of Wilmington, because I still volunteer at the Humane Society, which I think I've made mention of several times... I don't think I made an actual video uh, just because I didn't want to step on their toes and record within their facility or anything like that. But I've, vol I've been volunteering there as of this upcoming January. It'll be five years. I volunteer every Saturday and that drives about 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. And then to get from where I'm at to work is 40, 45 minutes can stretch further if there's an accident or traffic or there's a light down or whatever, because apparently lights like to go down in Wilmington all the time. So. That's my story. That's how I was around here. And uh, I guess I can briefly talk about the first time I ever had Skyline. So I had went to Wilmington College, never had it for the first half of my first year in school. And then I was hanging out with one of my friends and we were talking about restaurants and what we like to eat and everything. And they brought up Skyline. And I was like, the hell is Skyline? Because, like I said, living in Northeast Ohio, you don't figure out things that are down here in Southwest Ohio. So she told me about it and she was like, you know what, I'm gonna take you and uh, we're gonna have your first Skyline ever. To be honest, I have no idea what I, I ended up having. I think I probably had a three-way just cause I wanted to try it. Um, they do other stuff, they do some burritos and salads and stuff, but for the most part, it's it's the conies and the, the, the ways. I can't remember what I got. Well, that was the first time I had it and that was right after the year changed in 2014 so sometime in the late winter ish probably like february maybe march was the first time i had it back in 2014 i don't have it all that often because i feel like i have to be in a mood for it but having this five way for the video it's actually brought about the uh the idea of having it more often because this, this is pretty good last couple of times i went there i've gotten one of their um their wraps, and uh, I'll get some fries too. They do make fries. They make chili cheese fries and stuff like that. Um, they got some pretty decent other stuff, but I'm gonna start doing this more often. There is also another closely related, I, I guess it's closely related, style of chili. I can't get a, a fork thing to twirl worth a damn right now. Uh, called Gold Star Chili. I don't know if that one's more spread out. I know that it's the same concept, but it's slightly different. Their recipes are different. I think, might be wrong on this one though, but I think the uh, the Gold Star restaurant uses beans in their chili all the time, but in Skyline, you only get the beans if you ask for them or have it as part of a five-way or a four-way. Also, another dish that this has apparently been mistaken for is uh, maybe spaghetti con carne, something like that, the Tex-Mex version basically of like meat sauce chili. It's not the same thing. The, uh, the cone carne is Hispanic, and when you're in uh, Texas, it comes from the south, Mexico. So this isn't the same thing. This originated from Greece. Honestly, I don't know much else about it, but yeah, you can check out SkylineChili.com for more information. They might have a location. It's near you. I don't know. Maybe you can, like, order it or something. The only other thing that I've done with Skyline in the past is there's a really delicious dip you can make. Where you get one of those big old bacon pans, not not like bacon pan, like a pan made of bacon, but baking pan, the big like boil baking pans. You spread out a block of cream cheese on the bottom, and then you get two cans of the actual Skyline chili you can get at the store. You spread it up and over top, you toss it in the oven, and you let it oven for a while on some temperature. I'd have to look up the recipe, but I, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Fantastic. Just eat that thing up with some nacho chips uh, after, Jesus, after you put on the cheese, of course. Indigestion, man, that's already hitting me. So, 
that's it. That's all I've got. I've got, I don't know, maybe like a third of this left. I'm going to eat this, but I figured there's no point because I kind of already told my story and everything and my exposure to the Cincinnati skyline area. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys feel inspired and uh, educated and stuff. Obviously, that's that's what I'm going for here. Not really, but it's fine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are, are, are having fun here with the whole Vlogmas thing and enjoying all the other vlogs and stuff. So, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.